Hi everyone, in this video we're going to outline how you can change the date range on your Gantt chart. Okay, now this can happen for a couple of reasons. If you're reusing an already created Gantt chart, the dates that are embedded within there may be incorrect. Or you may want to just adjust the ranges because it doesn't look visually how you want it to appear. So we're going to make a start. We've got an example here where we've got our Gantt chart data and we've also got our Gantt chart on the right. But you can see that from a visual perspective, these uh, blocks that we've created really aren't what we want to see. They don't represent the tasks there. So how do we do this? So what you want to do first of all is look at your start dates and you want to find the first start date and the last date. So here we can see we've got the 1st of August 2017 and our last date is here, 18th of August. So what we want to do is type in into a different cell our date, so our start date, and we want to do the same for our end date. So you can see here our start date, our end date. We now want to select these cells. We want to right click, go to format cells, and press number, and then press OK. You see that that's changed them into a numerical format. OK, keep those there for now. You now want to go over to your Gantt chart. So you want to press on the bottom axis, click it so that the bottom axis highlights, and then right click and press. That's not worked. Let me try that again. Press a format axis. OK, you've got some axis options at the top. What you will first of all want to do is press the fixed radio buttons on both of them. You know to change these numbers. The minimum number is the first date. So we delete this number here and we type in this number, 42948. Okay, 42948. We know to edit the second number. So the second number we generated, 42965 and then press close. You can see that's updated our Gantt chart and we now have a much more visual line representation. Okay, I hope that was helped. If you are new to creating Gantt charts, please check out my previous video where we outline how to do this from scratch. If you've got any questions or comments, please pop them in the section below. Please like and subscribe if it's helped you and we'll see you next time.